We started using the Hill RPF a few years back and then about two, three years back we got it on the Lensstar as well, which we've been using for quite some time. And then uh, the Hill RPF really made a lot of difference once it was on the Lensstar because uh, we could now not have to go to different formulas. Initially we would have different set of templates and different formulas for different sets of eyes. And then now we no longer have to do that because we have the Hill RPF working for the shorter eyes, for the longer eyes and the regular eyes of course. And then it goes on to give us the boundaries and it tells you whether you are within bounds or out of bounds for different eyes and then we know whether we are getting an accurate result or not so it kind of really helps uh, you know improve the workflows for our patients. I think uh, the main advantage uh, that stands out for me is that it tells you when a reading is within bounds or outside bounds. I think that's that's the key. And then the Hill RPF is not really a formula. It's more like the artificial intelligence, which keeps growing. So with more and more eyes coming into it from so many different collaborators from all around the world, all ethnicities, all different kinds of eyes. And with more and more eyes in the database, I think we are getting better every year and every month. And uh, so it, it kind of uh, has really improved the way, uh, you know, we've uh, worked with the Hill RPF and the Lenstar. So it integrates perfectly because we've been using the Lenstar for quite some time and we found this was, uh, you know, really integrates well with the Lenstar because it is inbuilt into the Lenstar and then it also makes uh, life much easier because our outcomes improve drastically. Uh, a few years back we would be plus minus a half uh, only in about 70 to 75 percent of our patients and today I would think we are more than 90 to 95 percent of our patients are within plus minus 0.5 outcomes. So our patients are so much happier and then we have, uh, we do a fair volume of multifocals and trifocals today. So there it really makes a lot of difference if you have uh, more than 90-95% patients hitting within plus minus a half. There it becomes so critical for them. So the Hill RBF and the Lenstar integrate so well and we, we've been really happy with it. Mostly no, you know, we've, we've used all the formulas over the years and we used, um, you know, uh, over the last few years we were using the Barrett's and the Olsen and then we gradually transitioned to the Hill RPF and uh, today I would think that it covers it all and we are able to do 99% of our patients with the Hill RPF, we are pretty happy. So only in very rare situations we would like to compare with other formulas. Most of the times we don't even use the other formulas anymore.